Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to install R Survival Evolve dedicated server using the R Server Manager. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. The first thing that you're going to do is opening Google. You're going to search for R Server Manager. Select the link for the R Server Manager Steam Community. Scroll down and click on Downloads. Under the current version, go ahead and click on the link Download here. At the next page, click on Continue to the external site. Once the download is complete, go to the Downloads folder. Right click on the latest folder and extract all. Select the location where you want to extract the files. Create a new folder and call it ASM. Select the folder again and click next. Once all files have been extracted, go ahead and click on the R Server Manager to launch it. Select the location where you want to install your game server. A new folder, ASM Data, will be created. Click OK. Click Yes. And click OK again. You can verify the UASM data folder was created with two subfolders. Go back to UASM folder and launch the R Server Manager once again. This time, the program will start downloading and installing all required files. Once the process is completed, it will automatically close and our server manager program will be launched. Go to the left side and click on the green plus button in order to create a new profile. Name your profile. Expand your administration tab. Enter a name for your server. Under Admin Password, enter an admin password if you want. Enter the ports that you're going to be using. If you are not sure how to forward your ports, I will leave a link on the description to a site that will help you with this process. Select the name of the map you want to use. Enter the mods ID you want to use. If you are entering more than one mod, you can separate them by a comma with no spaces. Click on the magnify glass to check your modes. Go ahead and close it and click on the arrow down next to the magnify glass in order to download your mods. This process can take one minute to download each mode. I will fast forward the video. Once downloaded, you can go ahead and enter a message for the players. The message is going to be displayed for 20 seconds by default. If you scroll down, 
you can actually change the different settings and modify the game the way you like. I will be covering this on this video. Minimize your administration tab and go ahead and click save. Go ahead and click on install and the server manager will start installing your game. It will create all profiles needed and it probably is going to take about 30 minutes to complete this process. I will be fast forwarding the video. When the process is complete, you can go ahead and close it and click save. Go ahead and start the server. If you get this error message, you probably need to upgrade your DirectX. I will leave a link on the description for Microsoft site where you can actually go ahead and download the program. You're gonna go ahead and open Google, search for DirectX and user runtime, select the web installer, download it, Go to your download folder, double click on the program and run it. Accept the Microsoft agreement, click next and once it's complete you should be able to launch your program again. Once you finish the DirectX installation, go ahead and save it and click start again. Your server will now start. It will probably take about 5 minutes to complete the process. Once the number of cores is displaying on your screen, you are done. Your server is up and running. Once again, thank you for watching. And if you liked the video or this video was helpful to you, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.